Hello viewers, you're watching the Youth Dialogue and I am your host, Jenna Wasonko. So today on the show, we are having a presidential debate for the UTJSU presidential candidates right here on the show. We'll also have um, the EC come and talk about how they can facilitate a free and fair elections. I also have exciting inserts of the supporters from Team Solutionist and Team Alliance. If you can remember Youth Dialogue two years ago, we started with the exact same program and for two years we are keeping it constant. I can say we're the most watched and one of the most consistent youth programs in the Gambia. So it's a bit emotional um, program today because it's exactly where we started. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. When we come back, the debate starts. Welcome back from that short break, viewers. Like I mentioned in the introduction, today um, we are having a presidential debate for the University of the Gambia um, Students' Union. Like I mentioned in the introduction, this um, was my first youth dialogue. So normally, whenever I have this presidential debate for UTG students, it reminds me of where I started because this is exactly where I started from with Fat Jeng and the others, um, their time. And since then, when I started, we kept on moving. I'm happy to say that we are one of the most consistent youth programs in the Gambia and one might ask why are we doing a presidential debate for UTG students leadership starts from tertiary institutions we should not wait till leaders are mature to put them to task we put them to task while they're young while they're young people so that is the motivation behind having the University of the Gambia um, students union presidential candidates come here today to debate it out to talk to us about their policies and also clear certain things here and there and um, when it comes to um, elections because elections at the University of the Gambia. It's very controversial sometimes, but I believe that uh, maturity is key. Maturity is something that we have put forward in relation to having a free and fair elections. And like I mentioned in the introduction, we have here as well um, the University of the Gambia EC who will talk about uh, the entire process, the voting, having a transparent election, a free election whereby there's no, I mean, um, cheating and the list goes on so they will come here to talk about it and as well as we have um, inserts of their different supporters telling us the reason why they think their respective candidates should really win this I know this is not the big presidential seat up there but at some point I can say it's hotter than the presidential seat that we have up there because these university students are taking it really serious but like I mentioned this is because um, leadership starts from tertiary institutions you never know if these people are going to be presidents if that happens then they will know that at when you have to be president here, you have to be held accountable in no matter what position, primary school, high school, or you name it. So that actually teaches children to know that when you are about to be a leader, you have to be tested. You have to prove yourself. And that is the way forward when it comes to leadership because we all know how African leadership is. So now, um, I mean, I have Kemo Fati here, who is from Team Solutionist. So they are the solutionists. Um, according to them, they can provide um, all the solutions that is needed at the University of the Gambia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Kemo. I also have with me Usman Jassi from Team Alliance. I mean, uh, they are saying that they can solve the problems as well at the University of the Gambia. So now, to start with um, Kemo. Kemo, what motivated you to um, run for presidency? Well, thank you so much, uh, Madam Jenema. I believe that was indeed a, um, a very beautiful question. But first of all, I first want to thank the Chancellor of the University of the Gambia, who also doubled as the President of the Republic of the Gambia, mm -hmm. Mr. Adam Abaro, mm -hmm. and of course the Vice Chancellor of the University of the Gambia, Prof. Um, Dr. Fakir, mm -hmm. and the entire authority. I also thank the Attend Executive Council uh, under the dynamic leadership of Mr. Ibrahim Adamfa and mm -hmm. the entire Executive Council. Mm -hmm. uh, notwithstanding, I also thank the, the Electoral Commission uh, for providing that conducive environment for us since inception. Mm -hmm. um, I also thank my own assuming contender on Inshallah, Mr. Usman Jazi, who is also a brother. Mm -hmm. uh, I also thank my own song heroes, my, uh, my campaign managers, and of course my, my supporters down there okay. uh, who have been with us. And I, I also thank them for the trust and confidence that they've bestowed me. Well, um, my experience in student leadership has always been a work in progress for me. Mm. Uh, I could remember I was serving as a head boy since my junior school. My, uh, my grade 9, I contested for, 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 for head boy in my, in my school and I, I, and I won. Mm. 
Um, I born in a very small, but a very famous village, village called Jahali Pachar. Mm -hmm. I attended my junior school in a very in a nearby village called Flabantang. Mm -hmm. um, I served as an auditor general, and of course, I was the first person to attend Nusra Sino Secondary School. You are my head girl there, 2015 batch. Mm -hmm. uh, now that's not gonna make me vote. <laughs> <for> <laughs> <you>. <laughs> that was, that was good. <laughs> yes. That was good. Okay. Yeah, and, but I and mean, I'm neutral. Yeah. And, and now, now, yeah. now in the university, I've, I joined the UTG in 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 in, uh, in 2017. Yes. Uh, my first year, second semester, I contested for the position of auditor general. Looking at the, the financial aspect of our association, mm -hmm. then the association account was zero dollars. Yeah. So I thought it wise that uh, before going for secretary general or other position, why not I start with auditor general so mm -hmm. that I can audit the, 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 the financial transaction of the of the association. Mm -hmm. Perhaps there, there there is a reason why we've not we don't have money mm -hmm. for the association. So when I contested, I went I went on a post. Uh, the, um, we moved front. Uh, for the first time, I introduced an international origin standard, despite I was not a commerce student, mm -hmm. but I had to undergo so many process, mm -hmm. so many coaching. Yeah. I could remember the, uh, the then auditor general of the assistant executive council on the Alpha mm -hmm. used to train me how to do auditing. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We raised the association's account from zero dollars to $69,000. That was 2017. Amazing. To 18. And then 2018 to November, I contested for the position of presidency. I won with a landslide victory. That's why the team solution is came. Okay. So I, I was the pioneer of the team. Okay. And um, the current executive council of SOSA also vied under the placard of team solutions. Okay. They also maintain a landslide victory. Mm -hmm. Now this is a clear manifestation to me and my friends that had we not done better in office, mm -hmm. the current executive council would not have been succeeded or re elected again under the under the under the, under the placard called team solutions. Okay, so that is the so reason why you are vying. Yeah, I am vying. Now, things. very good. Now yeah. we are moving on to SU, yeah. at the students union, yeah. knowing fully well that yeah. the University of the Gambia still face more problems than before. Okay. This is the reason why that triggered my intention to mm -hmm. move on. Mm -hmm. But looking at the uh, looking at the formation of my team, mm -hmm. I have a candidate from each and every faculty in the University of the Gambia. Okay. This is why I do not even disturb myself to go on the primary preliminaries. Okay. <laughs> but each and every one of those candidates, yeah. you know, we are convinced mm -hmm. by my policies. Yeah. Okay. You understand? Okay. I talk to them. Mm -hmm. The current president of SAPE, School of uh, School of Allied Health Science, is the gender and health minister of my association okay. uh, of my team. Perfect. Tony F. Mendy is the secretary general who is a student in law. Everybody know him as a product. So writer. which means your team is diverse. Okay. okay. Malik Nyang is currently a reporter on QTV. I okay. know you must know him. Yes. Malik Nyang is, a, is, is vying for IPRO under my team. Okay. My vice president is from the school of SBPA. <laughs> she's, she's studying human resource management, okay. Fatima S. Jambi. She's well known. People call her Fatima of all people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my yeah. education and research minister yeah. is from, um, is from EDUSA. Yeah. Educational sector. Mm. He's an educationist. Which means it's a very the diverse it, team. If you're looking at the formation of the team, we it's have a, a very, one. very competent yes. team. Yes, um, Kemo, I guess and we'll come back to you shortly. Okay, uh, we'll no, come back to you thank shortly. You so much. Thank you so um, much. Uh, team solution is he just mentioned that they did not border themselves <laughs> to go in for a preliminary. No, and no, I know no. Team Alliance went for a preliminary. <laughs> so, how did that preliminary? went and what is the importance of having a preliminary because for him he's so confident that he didn't have to border when it comes to team solution is coming up with a preliminary so talk to us about why alliance decided to go uh, with a preliminary to the extent that you are here viring under the ticket of alliance thank, thank you so much uh, it's indeed a pleasure to be invited to share my thoughts and views on this of community gsu election mm -hmm. Uh, let me say that it should be embarrassing for any presidential candidate to say, I don't go for preliminaries because I'm so confident of myself. Okay. That will be too childish and immature. Okay. You will know when it comes to standard politics, 21st century politics, in order to assess and evaluate the competencies, the skills of your candidates, you must subject them to a rigorous process that is going to show up their skills, their motivations, and the competencies that they possess. UTG Interschool Alliance Executive for Change is the only standard political structure in the University of the Gambia that will call for applications for students who are interested to contest for various positions in UTG SU election. When you have two or more people interested for a particular position, mm. for instance, the president, you might come from the School of Journalism, I come from School of Law, another person comes from School of Business and Public Administration. Mm. According to our standing orders mm -hmm. and our protocols, we are saying if you want to serve as the president of the University of the Gambia Students Union, we will not just pick you and put you there. Mm -hmm. Go for primaries, face your opponent, develop your manifesto, have debates, and let the students be the judge. Okay. Let the students vote. Okay. And that's what we did. Okay. This is why we are the only candidates whose policies are already scrutinized, whose manifestos are already critiqued and scrutinized. 
they had a collection of individuals handpicked mm. from different schools mm. who have not undergone a scrutiny protest. Mm. They failed to stand the test of competence. He was supposed to come for that primaries, but he's always been an alliance, he called himself. But he mm. knew he cannot withstand the test and force of competence. He had to withdraw on the basis of allegations okay. to go and form okay, his team. Thank you. So now, um, <laughs> Kemo, is it true Good. that you were an alliance? And if you were an alliance, why is it that you are not an okay. alliance anymore? And is it true that you guys handpicked the people who are thank supposed you so to be leaders thank for you, team you so much. I think I will use this powerful quotation of Barack Obama. He yeah. says, life is not the burden of any man or woman alone but some are called to meet a special set of its challenges. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is a duty that we discharge with a dignity, determination, and distinction that mm -hmm. are widely admired. Okay. Yet, Abraham Lincoln once observed that nearly all men can stand adversity. But if you want to test a man's character, give him power. I was a pioneer of this team. Why should I go on the alliance ticket? <laughs> <What do you laughs> but uh, my question but is, have you been I part of alliance in your life? I have never supported alliance since inception. Oh, since okay. the 16th Executive Council, Council, Alpha M. Kelo was my former teacher. Okay. He was the one who brought me into UTG politics. Okay. I campaigned for him very well, very, very well mm -hmm. and he won. Mm -hmm. Followed by Fat Jeng, mm -hmm. who, was a, who, who was a schoolmate in Nusra. Okay. I campaigned for her too. Mm -hmm. Alliance has never won a presidential seat until last year. Mm -hmm. Since, since the 13th Executive Council, 14th up to 18th Executive Council, Ibrahim Damfa didn't go any primaries, preliminary election. Damfa was manning a very powerful school, a commander. You know that he was never an alliance. You understand? Mm. Alf, Dam, Damfa came with his own team. Mm. Alliance asked him to join their placard mm. because they knew already that the guy has a crowd. Okay. He has a crowd, and then he did amazingly well for his school. Okay. This is why Damfa was both voted with his yeah. entire team. Mm. Usmana was a juvenile in UTG politics. I see no <laughs> them in UTG. I'm a final year political science student. What I understand in UTG student leadership, he, he mm. doesn't understand that. He is currently in his position a minister holding a ministerial post mm. under, a, an, under an association. Un, under an association. Mm. I was an auditor general. Again to presidency. My competence cannot match with Usman. Usman <laughs> had <laughs> unequivocally cleared made it to me that I will provide you to be my president. Stop I maintain a right. position as secretary general. <laughs> for if, wait, for if mm. you want to join on the alliance ticket, I told him that no way should I do that. But already, because already I have already gave my words to people mm. and I am maintaining my team solutions. Okay. He told me, brother, I respect you. I still have those messages and audio. So if he wants me to play, I will ask the guy to play my phone. Okay, we are not going to go that far. No, no just that, excuse me, This guys. was on the tent. Let, let, that is let, this let was, you come in. Let this you come in to clarify. Yes, allow me. Yes, allow me. Yes, I'm allow just me. I'm speaking. Okay. No, I'm yes, speaking. Yes, allow I'm speaking. Just allow me. This message, I stay with me. Okay. He said for him, he will prefer me to be his president. And he maintains as a secretary general because he is a powerful pet. He can write. But when he's come to student leadership in UTG, I have more good track record than him. Okay, so now. What I'm trying so to say is, okay, race. now, Usman, yes. what, I'm, what I want Good. to understand is, mm. what you are saying Very that he was an alliance. Very what good. evidence do, you, do you have? Just allow me. Mm. What evidence do you have that he was an alliance? And what evidence do you have that he wanted to come under the mm. alliance ticket? Mm. But mm. later, because it was so hot for him, mm. he had to take a lay, lay back seat. So it's what evidence is there yeah, on it's the table? Clear. Let me make something clear. Yes. Kemo does not even understand mm. how issues work okay. in UTG. <laughs> okay. He first argued <laughs> that I'm a mere a minister. Mm -hmm. Let me bring this boy on board. I've served as the former president of Youth Advocacy Movement, LRR. Okay. I've served as the former president of African Working and Children Organization in LRR. Mm -hmm. I currently serve as the chairperson of activist LRR. Mm -hmm. I serve as the former president of REI Student Senior. <laughs> and during the course <laughs> of my presidency, it has been outstanding. I serve numerous number of organizations from community level to regional level to national level throughout my life. Mm -hmm. Kemo, who has no understanding mm -hmm. when it comes to leadership, mm -hmm. who does not serve many organizations, mm -hmm. he's only, uh, only been an uh, 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 auditor of uh, SOSA, mm -hmm. and he called himself the president of SOSA. Mm -hmm. I think individuals should be happy to say, I've been the president of a particular organization, mm -hmm. institution, and I've done this and that. He's been recorded to be one of the worst president mm -hmm. in the history of SOSA. Uh, okay. His biggest achievement, he will always say, I organized the SOSA week. Mm -hmm. He organized the SOSA week. He took people all the way from Brikama to SL just to meet only four community mm -hmm. women on their uh, uh, migration uh, outreach. Mm -hmm. He organized the SOSA week. They had a cultural day. Mm -hmm. Less than 50 people, uh, 50 people attended. Okay. When it comes to Kemo being an alliance, mm -hmm. 
this is clear. Last year, came a campaign for Ibrahim Adamfa, and that is in the public domain. Okay. That requires no proof. And he said, I agreed that he's, I, I, pre, I would prefer him to be the president. An incompetent person like Kimo, who will still continue to, 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 to dwell under my tutelage okay. when it comes to organizational management, when it comes to understanding issues of university, when it comes to understanding leadership, and when it comes to any other matter, in as much as it's, it concerns leadership, organizational management, mm -hmm. and students of the University of the Gambia, yeah. Kemo is a toddler. By virtue of his presentation, mm -hmm. you can even note mm -hmm. he's been mumbling and trembling. He cannot put precisely his words to suit the purpose of this debate. Okay. I would want this boy to say, uh, okay, and let me come to you. Yes. When he yeah. said, yeah. When yeah. He said just allow me, Kemo, allow me. When yes. he said he mm -hmm. got his people from different schools, yes. let me make it very much okay. clear. If Kemo should have come to the primaries, mm -hmm. I would have dealt with this man. He cannot withstand the force of my language. Okay. He cannot withstand the force of my competencies. And that was why he ran away. When it comes to the composition of our team, okay. I have six years' work and experience with the government I of the government. Okay. Okay. So 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 okay. This boy has so no work experience. Yes. So, can, so now allow me. Okay, time. so now, um, Kemo, yes. do you have working experience? He yes. has yes. not. Um, yes, thank allow thank me. Do you have <laughs> any working experience? Thank you. thank you so much for acknowledging my effort on the SOSA. Yes. For organizing the SOSA Week event, and of course, a committee outlet at ESO, which was one of the biggest Huh? One, which was yes, one of the biggest track him. record. Yes. Which was one of the biggest track record on the <laughs> school of arts and science. You can ask any sort of student. Okay. No. General, I think the guy is already paranoid and he's desperate. <laughs> okay. We are talking about the University of the Gambia student leadership. What is the debate topic? I'm just asking you, what okay. is the debate topic? Yes. The University of the Gambia student leadership. Mm -hmm. He has already deviated. This is why students <laughs> have been laughing at them in class. When they go oh. to class, instead of them going straight to their policies, mm -hmm. I have six years of experience. I have listened. What are those evidence? What are the proofs of thought? Okay. Students of the university of the government don't want to hear that. Okay. So they you are saying no, that they don't want somebody they walking. They no, no, they you know, I mean, I, I they want to hear you speaking yes. about their problems. Mm -hmm. They want to hear you say how feasible your policies are. Okay. But not what you have done outside the university. This is why I said all my track record are archived. <laughs> in the source executive. Okay, is it and also you, true that look, you handpicked, you know, because this debate is going to be based on some of the arguments that exactly. you guys are bringing up, exactly. you know, good. to make it really realistic. Good. 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 And you guys have an opportunity mm -hmm. to clear the air when it comes exactly. to certain good. allegations good. that good. you're giving here. Good. So is it true that mm -hmm. the people from Team Solutionists mm -hmm. were handpicked in a way? They they never, never handpicked. Okay. The current team of Team Solutionists, mm -hmm. the current membership of Team Solutionists, have all served in their current executive council. Some of them are secretary general, okay. some of them are currently finance ministers, mm -hmm. of course some of them are vice president. And in some positions, we have two people in some positions. But I used to be very, very wise when selecting. Okay. I told I called them in a platform. You did the selection. Yes, yes alone. I, I know wait, Allowed wait, him. wait. I <laughs> called them on a platform mm -hmm. to have a take discussion within themselves mm -hmm. and see who is best enough to move on. What Alliance this did it's very, very unfair. Mm -hmm. They will call Jiwa from Ekomansa as okay. a president okay. and call Usman, Us Usmana from law who, who has never who has never gained an, any experience on student leadership. Okay. Now, Jiwa was put on the track. He has more amazing track record than Usman. Mm. They called Jiwa to attend their preliminaries, mm -hmm. but this message was never circulated in any pages. Oh. It was only sent on Alliance page. Okay. You understand? So when Jiwa attended the debate, the preliminaries, he was boycotted. Because majority, ma because majority of them <laughs> were all alliances. Okay. Do you understand? So and they already made a very decision very as very to Usman will have general, the general, ticket. General, general, no, just, no, no, just allow no, him. No. Allow him. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So they, you were saying that even before the preliminary happened, and, and they already and made up their mind that made he will have the ticket. That Usman is going to be the president. Yes. Because only a few BPS will attend it. They okay. were shocked that this message was not disseminated to their pages, but rather on the Alliance page alone, when the executive already decided Usman to be the president, okay. which is very unfair. Mm. So just look at it. Geneva. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Last, last point on this topic, and we we'll move to something good. else. Last okay, point. Okay, but I have yes. to uh, clear a number of things. Yeah. First, mm. he said he served as the president of SOSA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up to today, mm -hmm. at this point in time, mm -hmm. he failed to submit his report, activity report, mm -hmm. to the dean. And the mm -hmm. team has been requesting for that. Meet the current executive council. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, Kemo did not submit his report to the council. Okay. okay. When that mm -hmm. is gone. Okay. When it comes to selection, mm -hmm. there are a number of candidates in our team mm -hmm. that Kemo approached mm -hmm. for them to join Kemo. Mm -hmm. But because they all know that he's a clown, mm -hmm. he's incompetent, he does not have the requisite skills mm -hmm. and the intellectual dexterity mm -hmm. to move forward 
the agenda of the students of the University of the Gambia, they refuse to join him. You cannot join an individual who does not have competencies to serve under him. Okay. When it comes to the primaries, Kemo, I'm very much disappointed okay. that a person of your type, someone who wants to serve the students of the University of the Gambia, will come here to lie for the mere fact that you Camp, want to recruit yes. in, in wait, maturity. Wait, yes, wait. Let's, yes. Let's allow for, 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 for the mere fact. No, allow me to speak. Allow me to speak. No, I'll give you a chance. For the mere fact, for the mere fact that, for the mere fact that he wants to recruit the sympathy mm -hmm. of the students of the university uh, of students of university, mm -hmm. especially students of BPA. He said, "Jiba boycotted the uh, Congress. Uh, sorry, the preliminaries. Let me tell you how it goes. Listen, allow me to speak. That's a lie. Okay. Let me let me okay. let me tell you, General. Listen, mm. let me tell you. Alliance, before we held our preliminaries, the message was circulated no, on never, all WhatsApp groups. Never, 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 never. All WhatsApp groups. The UTG Bantaba, the UTG part. Alliance. No, don't it, allow me to speak. You say it's immaturity. Let me, let me General, no, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. No, okay. Let me complete. I'm, I'm, I'm making okay. my point. I'm okay. making my point. Okay, let me let me allow me as well. Allow me. Okay, allow me. Allow me to come. Yes, wait. Usman, wait. Okay, let me make something clear. Okay. No, you are on the press. Take your time. Take your Okay. Kemo, Usman, calm down. You guys remember that you're on television. You are on television, and the students are watching. The students are watching. Maturity counts. Wait. I am the moderator here and this is my house so i will control who talks when and who has to keep quiet okay so when i allow you to talk speak okay. when i'm saying your time is not there to speak don't speak it's my house okay so let's take our time continue what you're saying allow him to continue no okay what what way okay what i was no just just wait yes yes okay okay just 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 and then we go what are you trying to put across yes i'm trying to put across yes that primaries, mm. the message was circulated on all WhatsApp groups. Okay. Never, never. There was not a single candidate okay. in UTG Interschool Alliance who did not attend the primaries or who was not informed of the primaries. When we reached at the primaries mm -hmm. ground, in fact, a day before the primaries, all the candidates meet in, uh, 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 at the law faculty okay. and we made things every, very clear to each and every candidate. This is, these are the modalities of the primaries and this is how it is going to be done. Okay. Diva was never boycotted. No, 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 okay, wait, fine. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. That's, that's the end. Kemo, what no, are you very saying? Very yes, quickly, because we have due to time constraints. I know Usman is a virgin politician. Mm -hmm. He's a juvenile <laughs> in this race. Usman cannot compete me when it comes to student leadership. My, tra this? my track record cannot match with Usman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he definitely attests to that, mm -hmm. to be quite honest with you. So yeah. he accused me that I didn't report, I didn't, I didn't submit my report to the deal. Yeah. Yes. Did was, you or which, did you not? Which was a serious flashy. Mm -hmm. The yeah. current executive council of SOSA are still using my model, my SOSA week model to conduct their current, so, the, the, the next SOSA week event. Mm -hmm. I have submitted my report since September. Okay. You can ask the SOSA executive. Okay. These are just plant that he just tried to accuse me. Mm -hmm. But they are never unfounded. A leader like me who have served an association as an auditor and also of, of course as a president is accused of not submitting his activity report mm -hmm. when he did wonders for that association. Could you yeah, believe that? Okay, that. so now, let's, let's, close, okay, now so let's close this chapter. Okay. Now let's go to what is happening on the ground at the University of the Gambia. Okay. 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 Yes, Usman, mm. I mean, there are a lot of problems happening at the University of the Gambia. Yeah. Students, I spoke to them, yes. and they did tell me some of the issues that are happening there. And we all know. Mm -hmm. I mean, transportation is a problem. Wi-Fi is a problem still. Students are complaining of missing grades. And all the petty issues that a student leader can solve. Mm -hmm. So, what plans do you have in place to solve these problems quickly? Good. You see, when it comes to solving the problems of the students, yes. the first point of departure is consultation mm -hmm. and involvement. Mm -hmm. We are the only political structure in the University of the Gambia that engage the students from across all schools on the problems that they faced. And we have got primary information regarding the problems that they face. And we are going to approach these problems on the basis of relevancy. Mm. Relevancy in problem solving means problems might be caught, uh, might, might caught across, mm -hmm. but schools might have different problems. Okay. Depending on the type of problem that a particular school is associated with, mm -hmm. then you treat that problem on the basis of its relevance and on its merits. Mm -hmm. You mentioned about transportation. Mm -hmm. Recently, the resolution that was made 
between the 18 executive council mm -hmm. and the University of the Gambia Management. Mm -hmm. The governing council already agreed to allocate $9 million mm -hmm. for new buses to be purchased or outsourced. Mm -hmm. S right now, we have four standing buses mm -hmm. or four functional buses. Mm -hmm. When we come into office, we are going to make sure we pursue the implementation and the execution of this resolution so that these buses will be purchased or outsourced. Okay. And the determination of how, when, and where these buses will be run will be determined by the students. Okay. When you go to Brikama, just yesterday, people close from school 8 p.m. at night. Some of them are girls mm. or females. Mm. It's quite very much insecure for those people to close from school 8 p.m. at night mm -hmm. to go home or to go to Brigama car park to look for commercial vehicles. Okay. We are going to make sure that when we are elected into office, we pursue the implementation and the execution of the resolution that was made between the University of the Gambia Students' Union okay. and the management. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to activities happening, the issue of the Wi-Fi, I know, you know, but uh, we have to be um, honest at some point when it comes to what mm -hmm. the presidential, the UTGSU president can do and cannot do. Yeah, exactly. Because this is an issue that I had the last time. I mm -hmm. mean, people talking about things that they know clearly well that they cannot they do. do. Yeah. Hunger. Because when we sit here, let's be truthful to ourselves. I know what you talked about is a bit you know, it can happen because mm. you guys can make follow-ups and stuff. Yeah. But when it comes to other things that the students are telling me, what can you do? They're talking about the issue of the Wi-Fi. Mm. They're talking about the issue of missing grades mm -hmm. and all the other issues. Do you think you can really solve that and how? That's very much simple. Okay. That is why I said the preliminaries was very good for us. Okay. Our policies are tested and they stood the test of competence. Okay. Who With tests the, the, who tests that? The students. The students the themselves. primary ground. Yes. Close okay. to 100 students. Across all faculties, we are present. We are present. Okay. It was held in your school, journalism. School okay. of journalism. Yes. Okay. You make policies, students will stand up, they will tell you, sir, this policy cannot be implemented. Okay. And we are going to have that engagement with them. When it comes to the issue of missing grades, with the introduction of the student portal, mm -hmm. it has gone a long way towards solving that problem. Okay. But that is not the be all and end all when it comes to solving that problem. That is why we are saying we are not going to tell students that we are going to give you loan or we'll partners, make mm -hmm. partnership with British universities mm -hmm. as he will do, policies that cannot be implemented. Okay. But we told students, before we are going to provide loan for you, which is impossible because this union does not have that capacity, mm -hmm. the admin does not have that capacity, we are going to liaise with all sub association to, to facilitate that. To okay. make, yes, exactly. Thank you. So, yes, Kemo, um, talk to us about this, the same question. What do you think um, can be done? And I just want to also make something clear. I'm not sitting here today as part of being a student <laughs> at the University <laughs> of the Gambia. I am sitting here today as the Youth Dialogue host, exactly. not a student at the University of the Gambia. I'm not part of Alliance. I'm not part of Team Solutionist. I just want to make that clear because it did, did come up in certain yeah. conversations. Okay. So now, l same question. Yeah, Let's talk so about... Um, plans that you have in place yes. to solve certain problems that are happening at the University thank of Gambia, you, you, ranging from transportation, a school um, portal, and the list goes on. Thank you, thank you so yes. much. Um, I will first start with um, this quotation from Obama again. Mm -hmm. He says, um, logic, reasons, evidence, and understanding of, of science. Yeah. He says, these are good things. These are things that we need in people making policy. Mm -hmm. Yenba, it is quite very, very sudden. If you go to our science labs, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't even see any library, you, you don't even see any equipment. Okay. Even, the Gambi e even Gambia High School, both become and, 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 and medicine. Wow. Even Gambia High, Gambia High School, mm -hmm. their lab department is more sophisticated and equipped than our science students. Wow. And these are the people that we are expecting to solve our diseases. You all know that universities in everywhere in the world are the labs that diagnose both our social, economic, and, and political problems. Mm. So these science students deserve a very good and standard laboratory system so that they can not only depend on a theoretical aspect of their learning mm -hmm. but of course practical aspect too we need to encourage them mm -hmm. now we know that the higher education mm -hmm. has been pumping a lot of money to support our stem mm -hmm. that is those studying sciences mm -hmm. you understand but yet that's not enough you cannot give a bag to a child without a book mm -hmm. and expect the child to do better in school mm -hmm. despite the providing scholarship for them for them but yet their needs have not been achieved. What they need in those labs are not there. Okay. So you expect them to become a good doctors in the, in, to tomorrow. Mm. You go to school of SBPA, 
one of their biggest problems today is class sizes. Mm -hmm. I had a discussion with their dean. You know what he told me? Mm -hmm. He told me here one of my biggest challenges here is class sizes. Okay. He said the UB block, the University of the Gambia block at BPA, mm -hmm. is designed in a manner that needs an adjustment. Okay. He said you cannot expect 3,000 students to <laughs> occupy to occupy seven classrooms. Mm -hmm which is very, 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 very unfair. The finance director of the University of the Gambia, when we had a TED discussion with them, mm -hmm. when I was a sub association president in my, mm -hmm. my, in my school, mm -hmm. he said majority of the students that are paying their tuition with themselves are all from BPA. 80% of them are okay. from BPA. What can you do in because relation to that? Now, look, looking at the UB block alone, mm -hmm. the dean have attested that that money is there. Okay. The plans are there. But your student unit have, no, have not been pushing the agenda forward. Mm -hmm. This is why it's not been built. Okay. And you guys should come on board to push the management so that these people can have enough classrooms. Because you cannot expect 100 students to occupy a space for only 45 students. That a class that should, that, is allo that should be allocated for only 45 students, yeah. which is very, very unfair. Mm -hmm. Yet, these are the majority who are paying their tuition for themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, my loan issue is directly proportional to the clause in the constitution. I never caught anything that is not in line with the constitution. So he has okay. to listen to that. Mm -hmm. let me, let, 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 you, I mean please, land. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> land. Just land. <laughs> section 7, subsection 7 yes. of the University of the Gambia Students Unit Constitution clearly state that mm. the union should expand which support. Which the okay, union which on the Allow him. The union should man. expand support mm -hmm. and humanitarian assistance to the needy students. What does it signifies? Now, we do organize what is called Students Week. Mm -hmm. We do organize retreats. The amount of money that we spend in this students week program is enough to sponsor more than even 15 students. Okay. We will go to Tendaba without conducting any research and come back with nothing. I don't mind about my opponent because I know I am more competent than him. <laughs> I know the problems of UDG than him. Okay. So when it comes to student leaders with mm. UDG, Usmana cannot compare with me. He, he already so you are that. saying that there so will be no Tendaba? I am not saying that yeah, extra that's activities proposing. is not important in student development. Okay. I, am going to move, I am going to promote this agenda. But the manner in which it is done should be adjusted. Okay. We should include what is called a research, academic research. Today, the National Assembly members would have been proud to say this social document was presented before us by the University of the Gambia students after conducting a report academic research in Tendaba. Now, we went to Tendaba. No research was conducted. Those people right now, some of them need clean water. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a tech discussion with the community. Do we know their problems? We went there to put ourselves in a confined zone one week and come back. I know mm -hmm. it, it is successful, it, is, it was good. Mm -hmm. It was a good event, and it is good for students to interact, okay. to, to, to promote that social cohesion mm -hmm. within ourselves. But of course, it should be productive. So University of the Gambia students are not exposed to research. Okay. Even citation and reflection, ref referencing has been a problem. Mm -hmm. You ask so many final year students who cannot even reference. Mm -hmm. It's pity. Now, when we try professors from outside, even from the, from the Gambia here, we have people like Dr. Ismail as he said. Mm -hmm. We have professors in the university who can help us on how to write research mm -hmm. and of course how to, how to make citations and mm -hmm. referencing. We can engage these people. Now, looking at section 11, subsection 5 of the University of the Gambia Student Union Constitution, yeah. also state that the union, the president of the student union should represent the student at the alumni association. General, since inception of this university, mm -hmm. there has never been an alumni association. This is also another entrenched clause. Yeah. Are you listening to okay. my policy? Okay. Now, <laughs> for the first time in the history of UTG, for if we succeed, mm -hmm. we are going to create what is called an alumni yeah, association. association. Inshallah. The current um, commission of GRA, Yanko Badabo, was the second president of the University of the Gambia Student Union. Mm -hmm. Mohamed Sabal was the third president of the University of the Gambia Student Union. Ben, ben, Benson Gomez was the first person and of And all UTG. of these people never did ne that. Nef but we, no, we, they, they never did, but because still now the University of the Cambridge Student Leadership have not been engaging these people on a platform. Okay. Now, just so wait, just okay, one. Okay, so now, you are saying now the, the natural president should very come good. up and they v give recommendations. Very good. Since, since, since they, um, but they, they didn't do it, yeah. but we should do it because it's an entrance clause. Now, mm. natural tendencies, natural tendencies in a bodily condition among women deserve a better respect. You all know that. Mm. A girl bite her finger sitting uncomfortable in class when she visited a toilet without a sanitary pad. Mm -hmm. Then I was a president in my sub association. Mm -hmm. What we used to do is we normally have sanitary pads for our gender, gender and health ministry. Okay. But normally she kept it in our office. That day the lady was not around. She was in school. And this uh, nature called, I'm sorry to say, yeah. this girl was very uncomfortable in class. She had to text me that I went to the office, but the, your office is, the, the office is locked right now and the gender minister is not there. I need sanitary pads. Can mm -hmm. you help me? Mm -hmm. At that very instant, I, f I feel so much appalled. Mm -hmm. I had to send the assistant, and the, uh, the assistant gender minister to go and provide sanitary pads for me. That day, I thought twice. I said, mm -hmm. now the gender and health minister will no more go with the key 
Now we will leave the sanitary pads in all toilet facilities. Okay, so so you are so trying to say that when you come to in office, Inshallah, sanitary pads, we okay. sanitary pads will be available in, in all toilets. I, I don't care what yeah. my what, what my yeah. opponent is. Okay, so I care about what I can do for the students. <laughs> okay, so that I cannot be compared to him. Okay, so um, viewers, um, you see that the debate is going on, and yeah. these are the policies they are putting forward. Um, he's talking about bringing in sanitary towels for women, which I think yeah, is very good. Definitely. You're talking about your first step is consultation with the students and the students will get to discuss because what they want. That is, that is already done. Because that is already I'm done. You know, yes. you know, that is has been done already. One thing, one thing he has to understand here. One thing he has to understand. Let, uh, let him, if you are new in the system, me. therefore you want to go on the research. I don't have to go on the research to know UDG problem because already I have been a leader. Okay. I have been a leader. The point is, the point is, if you want to best address the problem of the students, yes, that is in problem know. serving, that is you, don't know. you do what is called consultation. That is you okay. don't know. Kemo <laughs> saying that he is going to do. Let me start with rebuttals first. Know. Okay. The first point is, right now there is an existing resolution. Just two months ago, mm. the University of the Gambia Student Union had an agreement with the university admin. A number of resolutions are made. Okay, already. Some of, yes, some of those things are in the process of implementation. Some of them are not implemented. Okay. If you come to office, how can you start by bringing new things when you already have existing problems? You don't solve These no problem. existing problems are yeah, things yeah. he listed or things he did not he list? He did not list. And yeah. let me come to that. Kemo made a number of fallacies. First, he don't know what is obtainable in the university uh -huh. and what is going a, a on. Student leader. A student leader. First, at BPA, a at BPA, uh, the last graduation, the chairperson of the governing council said this. There is a problem of class sizes when it comes to BPA. Okay. But right now, we cannot expand or build new structures. Or because that will be redundant when the structures in Faraba are done in 2021. He said he had consultation with the dean. That cannot be true in the face of what has been presented at the graduation ceremony. Well, and Secondly, when, okay, this past graduation. Yeah, this, this just recently. Okay. Secondly, when it comes to research. He don't know what is obtained and what is happening in the University of the Gambia. Mm. Just very recently, the governing council allocated 14 million dollars for research center to be established. And they have given 600,000 dollars to be granted to the student union to undertake research activities. Okay. So if Kemo okay. is talking about research, he does not even know that these are some of the resolutions that are made. Quickly, that means quickly, we don't have time. No, we don't no, have time. Already, already, already finished. If not attested to the, I uh, allow me to finish. Yeah. The current executive have failed in research. Six hundred thousand dollars was given to them for a research program. No research was conducted, Geneva. Mm -hmm. Geneva research. This guy is weak. This guy, this guy is weak. No, no, he was told. He was told what to say. He was told what to say because already I'm in the system. I know the system. I do not. I do not have to. Okay, allow me. Allow me. We have to move on. We have to move on to another segment. Okay, no touching. No touching. No. Okay, viewers. Yes. Yes. Kemo. Yes. Um, viewers. We have to go for a short break. Whereby, um, we will take a look at um their supporters. Yes, we have to take a look at their supporters. What they have to say in relation to the policies yeah. that they have presented so yeah. let's let's take a look at that short video when we come back um the debate continues stay tuned don't go anywhere why are you with the solutionist team for this elections okay basically is that solutionist the word solutionist it means so it comes from solution itself so we believe that the team solutionist, we believe that the students, the student union government, the student union body needs improvement. And we believe with this team, with their capability and their competence, they are fit for office. And as they are in the office, they will be ready to serve the students. And the students are the stakeholders of the school. So we need people like this, the solutionists to lead us and then we follow them. That's it. What it takes to win the election comes from two directions. One is the competence of the candidates that are contesting, and two is the understanding of the general students' body that these people are competent. And when it comes to both sides, we possess everything that is needed to win this election. First, the candidates are the ones that have been blessed with the highest level of leadership skills, the commitment, the ability to know the problems of students, and the ability to also deliver solutions that are not, not just going to solve the problems, but they are also sustainable solutions. And from the other side, it contains a set of candidature 
that will also enable the students body to know about them through our, our campaign platforms, through our campaign strategies, and our ability to engage them and convince them. Because we are not just competent, we also have the best orators, the best public speakers to be able to portray what is in them. Um, I'm supporting alias. Basically, I think when it comes to UTG and politics, what matters is competency. And again, you cannot be that competent if you don't know the problem. So what I'm so I'm so much proud of Alliance because they know the problem and that they have competent people to man various positions. I'm in for Team Solution because I see that Team Solution is, is the only team we can help the students to go forward. We can push the, we can push the students' agenda forward so that they can achieve their development fee which they are paying for the school. Because a lot of the students here are paying for themselves, whilst there is money for students under the SU account for them to help the students, you know, to pay their school fees. Many of the students are deferring their courses from one year, two years, you know, until they have financial support. Not everybody has a scholarship in this university. I was in for Team Alliance last year. I was part of their campaign managers. I campaigned for them to win. But what they promised us, we never see that. We have a total disappointment in them. That's why this time I change and I go in for Team Solution, which I see the quality of leadership in Mr. Kemo Fati. The reason why I'm in for Team Alliance is about the competence that they have shown uh, over the years. And then at, at this year's, um, they come up with a very, very um, eye-catching like primary which is very very democratic democratic and you can see that um, many students wanted to buy under the ticket of alliance but we went to a primary which most of them were rent very much uh, eligible uh, to that to, to that primary so it was very good that we got the best candidates uh, to the primary that will represent the whole interest of the students so um, why do you think um, Team Solution should win these elections? Um, well, I think that they should win because they, they are determined and then I think that they are, they are able to win this um, election, this coming election, because I can see that you don't only look at a leader through what he says, but also you, you, you see the qualities in which he has. They are accountable and also um, I, I see that they are very, very hardworking and uh, when you look at the executives, they have different rep representatives from different faculties in the university. So you will see that they are very, very ready for this. So that's what I think. Yeah, politics can be really beautiful and amazing, especially in this atmosphere of university education. But we believe, we don't want, expect students of university to be rallying behind candidates for the sake of like, you know, like what you think or personality based or mutual relationship. We believe you come here and out during the Congress day, Listen to the policies that have been delivered by various candidates. From there, you make your selection where the competency really lies in. Because like the long-standing of um, a particular party or partisanship doesn't really tell well. What we really, what we're looking here is like a better future for the students of the university. Welcome back, viewers. Um, that was an insert of the supporters from Team Solutionists and from Team Alliance um, talking about um, the reason why they're supporting um, their respective camps. And I know the elections is fast approaching. Students will have the opportunity to go and vote. We also have the EC chairman and the vice chair here. They will come here and talk to us about um, how ready they are to um, prepare for a free and fair election. Due to time constraints, we are just going to have to wrap up very soon with this debate. But um, Kemo, um, just to ask um, for you, to give us um, your final words in relation to this and generally, finally, what qualities do you think you possess that Usman here does not possess to the extent that on the 19th of March, these students have to go into that room and vote for you, finally. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Jennifer. That was indeed a very, 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 very beautiful correction. Mm -hmm. uh, well, first of all, I want to thank my voters again. I want to thank my supporters, my teammates, and of course, our, our unsung heroes mm -hmm. and our campaign managers as well. Um, it has been a great moment for me mm -hmm. since inception of the campaign period, of course, since the, since the nomi nomination time. Um, we've seen so many, so many things in the University of the Gambia, mm -hmm. so many problems in the University of the Gambia, and of course, 
if you are the trust and confident of your fellows, yeah. definitely you must not betray them. Right now, University of the Gambia need a very, very strong student government. Mm -hmm. that, would, that should be led by an experienced person who have served the University of the Gambia, not one, not twice, but times without numbers. Mm -hmm. We've all seen that. So it must not be just be given to a virgin politician who is just coming as a minister under a sub-association. This is going to be a very big failure. Student leadership that have never, that have not succeeded, cannot bring failed leaders to us again and expect it to be trusted. Okay. You all know that 80 percent of the University of the Gambia students have given their loyalty to Alliance 2019 election until they won with a landslide victory. So do you, are you threatened by that victory? No, no, are you threatened? No, 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 not, 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 not threatened. No, no, no. But now, threatened? now, right, right, right. now from the interview, you <laughs> could yeah. see a guy said that I was an alliance, but the reason why I left because they have not even achieved fifty percent of their promises. Okay. This is why he had to join my camps. Mm -hmm. I don't know some of these people, and most of these people who are talking are senior students in the university. Yeah. They will not lie. Mm -hmm. So now, Team Solution is, is the only team that can salvage the leadership of the University of the Kemet Student Union. Mm -hmm. Lip service has now ended. Okay. Students are wise. Talking to, talking to students in classroom using big quotes, big jargons has no use. <laughs> I, have, I am not concerned about that. I am concerned about the problems of the university students. Okay. And this, this, it is only team solutionists under my dynamic leadership which, who can provide those solutions to the students of this university. Okay. So please, let's be, let us be wise and vote in people who are competent, mm -hmm. who, are, who, have, who have leadership experience and mm -hmm. of course can change the dynamic of the university. Because my leadership shall stand to, 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 to stand to fight academic justice mm -hmm. and liberty in the University of the Gambia Perfect. Students Union. Yes. Um, do you, so you think because Ibra, um, you guys last year won um, 80 percent or 90 percent, are you depending on that to win? He said he will stand to fight academic justice. It should be fight academic injustice. Okay, correct, son. Okay. Uh, let me make it uh, clear. Kemo is incomparable to me when it comes to leadership. Okay. I've served more than five different organizations as chairperson or president. At the University of the Gambia, my track record is on my to his. <laughs> I serve as the Secretary General of the UTG Interschool Alliance for Change, the Chairperson of UTG Interschool Alliance for Change, the Research Minister of Law Students Association, and I'm the first student in the history of the University of the Gambia to win UTG's most prolific student writer of the year award. Okay. Also very recently, I won the best speaker award at the Bonjour Open Debate National Public Speaking Championship. My activities at the university, are already in the public domain. When it comes to our team com composition, there is nobody in our camp who has a working experience of less than two years. I have six years working experience. Mm -hmm. You have our IPRO with first bachelor's degree already, pursuing his second bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. Mohamed White, our secretary general, with four years working experience. You have Lamin Diba with five years working experience. We are a collection of mature and experienced people. And we are people united by common vision and ambition in pursuit of a common objective that is going to operate in the interest of the students of the University of the Gambia. The current uh, council, the 18 executive council, did amazingly very well. They were the first council to launch consistent and systematic pressure on the admin to increase the subvention from $2 million to $4 million. They launched systematic and consistent pressure on the admin to allocate $14 million for the establishment of research center. They launched consistent and systematic pressure on the admin for the admin for the, for the, for the, for the, for the admin to allocate nine million dollars for new buses to be put okay. and it's not only that when it comes to us our team UTG Interschool Alliance for Change we are the only political structure that engage students when it comes to consultation so we have first and primary uh, primary uh, in information and problems regarding the issues they are facing. Before you can solve the problem of a people, the approach is involve them, console them, okay. get the idea from them, and join them in the implementation process. Okay, um, thank you so much, guys, for coming. I really appreciate it. Can I see a handshake? I think we, you guys should give a handshake. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for coming. He will still continue to, uh, uh, to do it. He's proud of it. He's proud of it. Yes, um, yes, yes you can have a seat. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Kemo, for coming. Team Solutionist. And this is a specific recommendation from me. Yes. If Alliance win or does not win, if Solutionists win, win 
or does well that I don't know. But if 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 solution is win or does not win, I want to see a partnership between the you two. work on my council. Yes, that's possible. That's very possible. Yes, he's already going to be my assistant. Okay, okay. He already won. He's already. No, he can write. He can write. He can write. So he can help you. Okay, no problem. So you guys, yes. Public opinion. Yeah. We will tell you. You did the school alliance for change. Already won. Today we are in Brickham. Okay. Yes. okay, so you guys, I are you just ready want to, to see me in a debate. I will teach you intellectual I, 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 I want you guys <laughs> to have a partnership at the end of the day, <laughs> yes. whoever wins or whatever, because yes. I feel like you are all a very brilliant. Um, yes. Gentlemen, so you'll be able to partner, and then um, oh, no, he that's very good. He's well, he's well, he, he, it's left to the university. Yeah. It's left I'm to the students of the assuming. University of the Gambia. You are on assuming. Yes, yeah. um, on assuming leader. Yeah, the worst. <laughs> okay, so let's wrap it up. Um, it's left to the students of the <laughs> University of the Gambia to make a decision in relation to if it is Team Solutionist or if it is Team Alliance. So um, we will take a short break, and when we come back, um, we will get to um have the EC right here to talk about having a free and fair election. Welcome back, viewers, from that short break. Um, in the introduction, I did mention that um, I will host the EC here to talk about how we can have a free and fa fair elections and some of the things that are put in place to make sure that we have an extremely successful election there at the University of the Gambia. When I, see, um, when I say EC, it doesn't mean that it's the big EC up there. It's just um, at the University of the Gambia level because when I say that, people think it's the big one. But I mean, like I said in, in the beginning, um, leadership starts from the University of the Gambia or any other tertiary institution in the Gambia. So quickly, um, welcome to the show, guys. But quickly, just to ask... I'm not seeing any female candidate there. So um, maybe the chairman can help us answer. What happened? Did they apply? They were rejected or did they did not apply? What happened? Uh, okay. Um, thank you, Amina, um, for having us here. Um, regarding your question, uh, yes, there are female candidates. Okay. But for the president, we only have two, female, uh, two male candidates. Mm. Yeah, there is the vice president, we have two female candidates. And then there is also a, a candidate for... Um, Finance uh, Auditor, Auditor General, mm -hmm. I said, the content. There's also a female candidate uh, applying for this time. Um, yeah, she applied for welfare. Welfare. Okay. Welfare, yes. So, but for the presidency, no female candidate across the University of the Gambia did not submit interest. Interest, no. Okay, and, and you, at your own level, there was no campaign to at least encourage female candidates to come on board to give them that, you know, encouragement. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, we did not do that. Because, but uh, you know, these people like they they already set their their teams. Oh, in, even though we don't come as, as teams, mm -hmm. but they already recruit their their team members mm -hmm. who they want to be the president, vice president, and stuff like that. And they apply like that. Mm -hmm. But we do advocate for them to you know incorporate the the women into their teams. Okay. Like, but um, you go, you can even we even receive some messages where saying like, I even saw one on a status, a woman status. She said, like, uh, it's like the vice president is only allocated for females. Yeah, for, for, yeah sort for of, because there's yes. that thing, there's that misconception that the vice president is just for female. Yes, because yeah. the only um, president female that we ever had is Fatou Jeng. Yeah. And since then, we can see that the trend is not following. I'm not saying that a female must be, but it, because they're not motivated to come on board, I think a campaign should be set in place maybe to at least say, we are encouraging you guys to come. When you guys come for the EC interview, we are not going to buy it. We are just going to allow you guys to go on with it. So I think maybe this is a recommendation for the upcoming EC, whereby they will just put it into consideration that women sometimes are not really into politics, and then it's good to support them. And even looking at the teams, the women are not that much an extent, or even put in a policy. Yeah. So now let's talk about what you guys looked for when you were choosing um, the presidents, when you were choosing all of the candidates, not just the presidential candidates, but all of the candidates, what did you look in for to approve them to, to continue on the journey? Thank you, Jenna. So basically what we did was applications were open. That was on the 3rd of February. Mm -hmm. From there we had so many people that applied. Uh, I think we have 24 candidates, so we had an interview with them. So what we tried to do was we tried to scrutinize their policies because it's not about their character, mm -hmm. but it is about what they are able to do. Mm -hmm. And it is about them having the interest of the university students at heart. Mm -hmm. So that was what we basically did. Okay, so now let's talk about having a free and fair election. Did you contact the Gambia police force? Because I know every election we have them on the ground. So how far with that? 
Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, yes, we made a courtesy call to the to the IGP back in in, in January. In January, yes. Uh, as a as a stakeholder in the UTG elections, we know that elections cannot take place in the absence of, of peace. Mm -hmm. Even though we are university students, but we should not wait until like that, like a violent broke before we bring in the, sec mm -hmm. the security. Um, he also us that um, come the 19th of March, uh, each and every police station will have a uh, security man present. Okay. And how yeah. many polling stations do you have in place? Um, actually, we want to have 13 polling stations. Mm -hmm. um, four at BPA, two at the law faculty, four at the Bikama campus, one at the Faraba campus, one at the School of Medicine okay. at Banjul, and the other one is at GTTI Annex at okay. Banjul as well. Okay. So all together we have 13 polling stations. All together you have 13 polling stations, and we'll be able to have a free and fair elections. And the last time I went to vote and I saw that um, the area that was put aside for voting wasn't really good. It wasn't really good because you can see that even when you're voting, somebody can peep to see who you're voting for. So this year, is a difference going to come up? Is it going to be organized properly so that people can vote properly? Uh, yes, you know, I, like, uh, this, is just, this is not like the national elections where you, you, True. you, yes, you provide a, a, a cage where yeah. you put all the ballot, ballot box inside there. Uh, as I'm speaking right now, we don't even have uh, a, a an, an office as easy, easy members. Mm -hmm. So we use classrooms and the SU office in, in, in Burkama. Now, what we, where we can use is just an open space. Mm -hmm. Like in any, like at the law faculty, for example, you can just use between the two buildings, between journalism and, and, and the faculty building. Mm -hmm. That's where we, we can use and mm -hmm. place the ballot box. Mm -hmm. But as you are seeing, we make, it, we make a distance from the table to where you, the ballot box is so that when you are going to vote, nobody will peep in or tell you who or, or don't know who and who you are mar marking for. So I was questioning if really women did not submit. And I'm encouraging other women to submit for 2021. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should not just stop at Fatu Jeng. It should go further. Women can do it. Women can lead the University of the Gambia. I totally believe it. So we will take a short break. When we return, we will get to wrap it up. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. Viewers, that is all we have for you in this edition of the Youth Dialogue. But before I take a leave, just to remind you that Rugi's Creation made this outfit. She's right there along the Manjai Highway. The, her numbers are right in front of the screen. Take it, call her. She'll provide you an outfit as nice as this or even better. And she's a very, very young person doing it very, very big along the Manjai Highway there. Please visit her. Like I said before, the numbers are right in front of the screen. Take it and call her. Don't forget to connect with us on our different social media platforms, on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Give us your recommendations. We will surely pen them down, if not even implement them. Till I come your way next week with other young people doing extremely well across the country. Stay tuned.